Hey, so in this video, we're going to go over how to take macros and templates from your PowerScribe, save them to your computer um, as uh, RTF files, um, and, and then which then allows you to exchange, send them to someone else, um, or back them up, put them in a top repository, any number of things. Uh, and then we're going to go over how to take RTF files or macros that are you know, taken from another system or found somewhere else um, or transferred and then upload them into a PowerScribe uh, instance. Okay, so this is a way of, of, you know, if you're moving between institutions to transfer all, all of the useful tools you've created or that you're familiar with at one place to another um, or to examine or, or um, take advantage of templates that have been created by someone else and put in some sort of like online repository, something like that, okay? So for this example, uh, for this instructional video, I'm gonna show you first my CT head template. So this is um, what it looks like. And then what we're gonna be doing, this is I've opened up a kind of a, um, a temporary a session. This is just an example um, to pull, pull this in. But the way we're gonna have to do this is we're gonna first go into the, um, so I'm just gonna show you what this template looks like, which is gonna look a little bit different in the auto text manager. We're gonna go to insert, auto text, and create. So we're gonna get, this brings us to the auto text manager. You may be familiar with this. And so here, I've again got my CT head template. It looks a little different in this because of this shows some of the underlying logic, the pick list and other things I've built into it. Um, so let's just say I wanna take this and I wanna save it. And so on our screen, by the way, I've also opened up um, a folder where I'm going to put this in. So we go for you. So you you first you bring up the template, press file, and then save as. Okay, and this is going to bring up. So this is a file on my desktop, as you can see, or I'm sorry, a folder on my desktop. So I've already navigated to a desktop, and then I've already brought up this this um, uh, this folder. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just hit save. Okay, so now this this um, template is now saved in this folder as uh, CTN, right? And you can open this and examine it. Um, and uh, you can't really um, paste this directly into uh, the auto text manager. So for example, if I were to start a new template and try and paste this in, you know, it the, the, the logic um, the the, uh, what, uh, the various features will not be there. So, um, so you can't really do it that way, okay? So that's kind of important to know. Um, but so we've already saved it, all right? So, the, so you can take this uh, file um, and you can, uh, you know, you can attach it to an email, you can, you know, back, you know, back up all your macros and put them in a folder, that sort of thing, right? So this is the file format that we're, we're really looking for, right? Um, but, you, but you can't actually take the text in there by opening it in Word and then pasting it in. So there's a different way if you want to take RTF files, receive your transfers from somewhere else, and you want to input them in PowerScript, right? So let's do that now. So go into the Auto Text Manager, okay? Start a new template, okay? And then there's a couple ways you can do it. You, so you, you can press File, Open File, Okay, and then you just, um, well, I'll just open this one. This is actually identical, but I've just renamed it. So this is called CT Head 4, right? This is basically the same thing because um, I don't have a CT Head 4. So I've brought this up and then there are certain things that I believe will be missing. Um, for example, or rather, um, Different institutions, for example, each macro can be associated with specific exam codes. Like when someone order, orders an imaging study, there's, this, there's you know, um, an exam code that may be specific to the institution where these load automatically. So those um, do not port. Uh, those are not compatible between institutions necessarily. So those are, I believe those links are broken. If there are dependencies, like if your template has fields that reference other templates, other macros, um, those are broken. Um, so you would have to move all of the dependent templates or macros together into a new system and then re-link them. Um, there are some other things like whether you've put it in a folder, or you've used any of the other features. These are oftentimes, I believe none of these carry over. So you just have this un underlying logic, you know, like um, if you've built pick lists and stuff like you can see me having done here. So that those features cross over and that's this still saves an enormous amount of work, especially if you have uh, macros that are, um, have a lot of that, uh, those features built in. Okay, so anyways, I've imported now. So this is not yet fully saved. So now I've, I've got this name, it's different from ones I already have and I just hit save, right? So now you can, let's see if I, uh, oh, actually, 
this is different. You can put things in folders. So I've put, I'll put it into my templates folder, like everything else. So now I'll save it. Now you can see it here, right? So it's basically, it's basically the same macro, but that's how um, you can uh, uh, bring things, bring things into um, uh, PowerScribe using RTF files taken from somewhere else. Another way to do it, so you can actually take that same file, and you can actually drop and uh, click and uh, what is it? Drag and drop it right into this screen. And so um, this, there's a, this is an interesting feature where, um, so whereas you can't copy and paste from within the file, you can drag and drop the file itself. Um, in fact, there's some interesting, you know, I've got some other macro examples here that have differing parts of cases um, and things like that. Uh, so you can, there's something, there's something there um, that can be done. Um, and, uh, you know, there's a, you know, so that's another feature. You can actually drag and drop RTF files directly into dictations, fascinatingly. Um, though that's a feature that I'm not entirely sure um, if there's obvious utility to. Um, but like, for example, if I had a report open, um, you could actually just uh, do this and it retains its functionality or drag and drop, you know, specific things. Um, so that also works as well. Um, but uh, that basically covers um, the uh, mechanics of how to do that. So, so again, just you know, you go into the Autotext uh, editor and you gotta make sure make use of these um, save as and open file uh, functions to basically save each of your templates. So, you, just um, to answer what could be some you know some obvious follow-up questions that if you were learning how to do this for the first time it is not possible to do this uh, at current time in bulk within PowerScribe so let's just say you have a hundred macros you have to do them one by one you have to save them one by one um, it is possible to create some automation or se semi automation using or rather my best familiarity is to do it using an auto hotkey script. Uh, so in a different video and different resources, I'll go over how to do that. And so that can really expedite if you have a large number of macros to transfer. Um, but even without using an automating uh, system or something to, to make it a little faster, this, just knowing how to do this, um, especially if you have uh, a lot of functionality or a lot of features built into your reporting tools um, can save a lot of time and a lot of headache if you change institutions. Um, you, um, you typically, or rather in my experience, it is often best not to rely solely on the um, administrative level XML export and import. Oh, and if I haven't covered that, that's a scenario where whole templates, I'm sorry, whole PowerScript profiles can be um, uh, imported and exported, but they, those are to XML files, and often um, uh, uh, different institutions are not willing to um, to really upload the XML file um, because of some of the dependencies and other things uh, do, are not compatible with institutions. Then want to create issues. Um, it can be a, a, a difficult to get that to happen. But in any case, um, I hope you learned something in this video that's helpful to you, and thanks for listening.